我是 k a t i b o l Show k a b o l Many episodes. Hello, welcome back for another one of my February mini episodes. This one should be pretty cool because I'm going to be making a carbon fiber tube. Now I've only worked with carbon fiber once before, and that was yesterday. I tried my first attempt, and although it's very strong, I made a couple of mistakes that led to it having、uh, these wrinkles, and it just came out pretty ugly. Basically, I don't want to use it. As a handrail, which is what this、uh, tube is going to be used for. This may have another purpose. I don't want to waste it.、Uh, I'll just try and think of what I can use it for. But anyway, the material I'm going to be using today is、uh, PVC pipe, and I have scratched it up with 60 grit sandpaper. Now this isn't compatible with epoxy.、Uh, they, the two don't really stick together well. But it doesn't matter much. This is more of just the mold. And it's an inert material, so it doesn't matter if it stays in there permanently. So this is what I'm going to use to wrap up the carbon fiber. I'm going to use 35 centimeters of carbon fiber, which should give me five wraps on this. Now, this method of making carbon fiber tubes I learned from Jan Kune and one of his videos, which、uh, I'll link down in the description. This will just be an English version. All right, I'll show you the rest of the steps as I work. Okay, this is what's called 5.7 ounce 3K twill weave carbon fiber, and I've taped it up at the top here. You can see, so that I can put pressure on the mold and really wrap it up tight. Next, I use a thin line of hot glue to attach the carbon fiber to the pipe. Once I'm sure absolutely everything is prepared, I go ahead and spread unthickened epoxy all over the carbon fiber. I then roll up the tube, and once I get to the top, I just cut it with scissors where it's taped to the workbench. Then I take a 10 centimeter or about four inch wide strip of peel ply and wrap up the tube in a tight spiral. I add some more epoxy over the top of the peel ply. Next, I go over to where I've got a little duct tape taping station set up, and tightly wrap the tube with duct tape. You could probably use packaging tape for this as well. Once it's the next day, I can remove the tape and the peel ply and check out the results. All right. Well, I've just got the peel ply off, and overall, I'd say this is a great success. It's a、uh, super strong, and I did a pretty good job wrapping it tight. There are still some little wrinkles. I don't know if you can see, but I think with、uh, some epoxy mixed up with a fairing filler powder, if I just brush it on and sand it. Overall, it's going to be a nice、uh, end result. In the next episode, I'll start doing the fairing on this. And then begin making bases so that it can be installed as a handrail on the aft deck, right over the transom. See you next time.